Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to It's About Everything. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you the second BLDC motor that I bought. So this is the motor, and including with the motor, I've got all the other accessories: the throttle assembly, the controller, and the display unit. Everything. So in my previous uh, video, I showed you this BLDC motor that fits into an e-rickshaw and it's an 800 watt BLDC but I don't have the sensor assembly and the controller just the motor now this motor was supposed to be 900 watt but it's not and that's the reason why this video came out late because first of all the guy that uh, was having this motor I bought it from him uh, he lied to me he said it's 900 watt but it's not it's just 500 watt motor and how I know about it because when I saw the wires that goes into the motor you can see here these are the wires for the sensors you can see black and red is the power for the Holvex sensors and these are the output blue green and yellow and it goes into the controller and these are the power cables now these cables are really thin compared to the wires that is on that motor so this is the first clue that this motor is not 900 watt and the second thing is this controller so you can see 48 volt 35 ampere 750 watt and everything else is in Chinese so I don't know what that means but it's only 750 watt and the controller power should be a little bit more than the motor so that it can handle the surge or load when the motor puts the load on the controller so it's 500 watt and I've also talked uh, about this motor with few of the few of uh, those people who owns a pedal rickshaw and it's converted to work with this motor so I talked with them and they said that it's 500 watt and pedal rickshaws or cycle rickshaws they don't need more power than 500 watts so 500 watt is enough and these motors are 500 watt I cannot see any label because it's really dirty but probably the label is here which which says what power it is so this is the display unit you can see it has a key to turn on and off and all the wire goes in here so the display is actually used for turning on and off the main controller with the key and probably this is the wire which controls it or probably this is the switch wire that switches it and this is the wire that is connected to the battery 48 volt battery pack and this is the junction box and this is the throttle assembly it's a hall effect sensor based linear hall effect sensor based throttle the forward section is broken and here is a switch which is probably for horn the cable is disconnected it's two wire probably these two wires are these two wires because there is a horn type buzzer thing on the bottom of this model and this one is mounted with this bracket on the bicycle rickshaw and this is the charging unit from where it's plugged from where it's plugged to charge the batteries so everything goes in here the charging cable connected in here and 
two wires that goes into the control display unit and then the power goes into the controller as well and this is the two cable that is connected with the battery so the main terminal for the battery is right over here positive and negative and the middle three terminals are for the motor now let's talk a little bit about this motor it's a BLDC obviously censored BLDC and it's geared it has a planetary gear system you can see the sprocket so this section is the gear section and right over here is the cooling fan I don't know whether you can see it or not but you can see it's rotating so it's pretty smooth so I'm going to open this motor and I will show you what's inside and I will try to run this motor because I have the controller with it but I'm not going to connect this controller with that motor because that is uh, 800 watt so I'm going to open that motor as well and show you inside and I will try to build a controller myself for that motor video will take a few days to make uh, to make the video so stay tuned subscribe okay guys so for the past half hour I was using my multimeter and I was probing around all the wires trying to find out all the connections and as far as I found out I don't know any of these things because this was not properly opened and the guy just ripped it off from his uh, rickshaw he didn't open it he didn't knew how to open it so he ripped the wires and everything is sort of in a mess for example here I can see a wire is just stripped off and all the wires are properly color coded but he you can see used all yellow color wires so I might need to open this assembly and see all the wirings and look at all this mess with electrical tapes he tried to hide everything else so here all the wires are a mess and I don't know what all these connections does and I just saw a problem that this shaft you can see it's moving left to right and the bearing is completely jammed it's not even rotating a bit and probably that's why this shaft is wiggling so that was a real poor job of that person who fitted this unit so how much did it cost me well it cost me about a thousand rupees and basically I thought I was paying for the motor and the controller but here if the controller does not work then I'm screwed and I think if I replace the bearing over here it's going to be fine but it needs to turn so I will try and connect it with battery or a power supply and try to run it but first of all I'm going to find out all the connections where it goes properly connect it so this was it guys I hope you enjoyed this video if so then hit the like button and share it with your friends and if you are new then subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so thanks a lot for watching i'll see you soon have a nice day bye bye